I bought two of these Supermicro 1U servers off eBay. One works just fine, the second one overheats whenever any activity is done with it. Uh, copying files, compiling, uh, source code, whatever. So I opened it up to see what the problem is. These units are fanless systems, uh, passive cooling only with that heat sink, and that's the CPU, and the contact point between the CPU and the heat sink are those shiny square bits that need to line up, and heat transferred through those. And you can see the way this heat sink is mounted, where the pins that are drilled through the heat sink matching the holes on the motherboard. Once they're installed, the square parts on the heat sink and the CPU do not match up. Therefore, the heat transfer isn't done properly. Here, I give you a better visual of the misalignment of the heat sink to the CPU with the annotated lines. Evidently, the holes on the heat sink were punched out incorrectly, leading to this misalignment. And Supermicro's quality assurance didn't catch this. So the correct orientation would have been this way, had the holes in the heat sink punched correctly. And this way, as you can see, the squares match up perfectly. I sent an email to Supermicro explaining the problem included photos, some of which you see in this video, and asked where I could purchase a uh, appropriate heatsink for this motherboard. And it's been almost a week now and not even a single reply from them on the matter. So this is kind of interesting. I wanted to point this out also. Since the squares did not align properly and part of the CPU sat offset to, this, uh, to the heatsink, this perimeter, the black kind of fu fuzzy uh, material, was ironed down by the heat from the CPU, as you can see here. Next step in this adventure is to figure out where the holes should have been on this heatsink had it been manufactured properly by Supermicro. Mark the locations and drill out the holes myself. Then reseat the heatsink on the CPU and test out to see if it overheats.
Here the server is powered on, the modified heatsinks on, and I'm making it download a bunch of files. Whereas before, at this point, with the, without the modified heatsink, the alarm would sound because the CPU would overheat. Also here, every 30 seconds, I'm checking the heat sensors. And as you can see, the CPU temperature now with the modified heatsink is around 26. It goes up to 27 and then goes back to 26. So it's pretty stable at 26 degrees Celsius, which, which is good. And I guess at this point, all, uh, all that's left to say is shame on Supermicro for not even bothering to respond to the email. After all, this is their product. You would expect them to want to support it.